Hello everyone, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is a 10 minute stretch to improve your posture. We sit down a lot, our hips are tight, our shoulders are rounded, whether we're driving or sitting at the desk doing work or just relaxing on the sofa. So it's important to rebalance these areas and this stretch will do exactly that. It will help improve your posture, your functionality in day-to-day -day life, help you repair injuries that you have, as well as reducing the risk of injuries coming in your training, okay? So do this every day to improve your posture. Let's go. Okay, all of these stretches can be done down on the floor, so come down onto your hands and knees, 30 seconds on each position, starting in a cat and cow. Are you ready? Let's go. Hands underneath your shoulders, round your spine up with your breath, and then chest up, hips back, belly down. Move between these two positions in your own time and start connecting now with your breath. Use this 10 minutes to relax. Tell your body it's time to relax. Moving through the spine, taking nice deep breaths. Let's take it into a child's pose. Hands out in front, open up the knees, sit back. So the next few minutes, we're really gonna start opening up the spine, getting some extension through that spine to rebalance all of the closeness that we experience from the shoulders coming forwards. So drop the chest, reach your fingers forwards, and sit your hips back. Stay here and just Alternate both sides, reaching arms to one side, feel the stretch a bit more down one side and then reach to the other side. In your own time, you'll feel a stretch from underneath the arms all the way down your back on one side, hopefully towards your lower back or hips. Let's take it now into puppy pose, which is like a child's pose, but extended. So walk your hands out a bit further and your knees a bit further away. Drop your chest, keep your hips up high. We're now working into even more extension through that upper back. Take nice deep breaths and allow the chest to drop whilst your hips are up high. Don't push past any discomfort. Just follow what feels good. That's my biggest advice with stretching, is to follow what feels good. Single arm chest stretch. From here, just extend one arm out at 45 degrees, plant the hand down, and then just extend away from there. We wanna try and get that stretch across the chest, the pecs, the front of the shoulders. You can move however you like, and just feel that stretch there. So rebalancing the upper back is all about strengthening the back and loosening off the front. Switch to the other side. So stretching the chest and the shoulders is what this stretching is all about. Okay, let's start working through the rotation now. Back to all fours. Reach one arm through in a reach through. Pause for a slight second and then open it up and rotate the upper body all the way through. A full range of motion. Reach through, breathe and extend. So work in that rotation and strengthen the upper back. And same on the other side. Reach through, breathe, and rotate. Stretching that upper back and then contracting as you rotate. Okay, come round to lay on your back. 
Let's enjoy lying down into a single leg knee hug. Lay back, bring one knee in, relax. Pull that knee up high, keep the other leg extended. Let's open up those hips, stretch the glutes. You can move that front knee a little bit left and right or in circles and start stretching the glutes and the groin and the hamstrings. And extend that leg out and pull the other knee in. Same thing. You can do ankle rotations here if you want, knee rotations, whatever feels good and whatever you need today. Okay, we're gonna take it into a torso twist, bring both knees up, extend both knees out to one side and open up your opposite arm so there's a full torso twist. Bring your other hand on top of the knees to push the knees down and open up the chest. Extend that other hand away and see if you can get your shoulders down on the floor. We're actually gonna spend double time here, one minute instead of 30 seconds. So relax, enjoy it. And every few seconds with every breath, ignore that beep, every breath, just extend deeper into the floor, let go. Open up that chest, twist in the stomach. Okay, bring the knees up and same thing over to the other side. One minute on this side as well. Bring this hand on top of the knees. Open up that chest of the other side. Take nice deep breaths and see if the hand and the back of the shoulders can be on the floor. Keep going through that 30 seconds extra. Make sure you're staying relaxed, taking slow, deep breaths. Enjoy this stretch. Let's move it now into a side knee drop. Coming up, bring your hands behind you, fingers and hands on the floor, knees up, open up the feet, drop your knee down to the floor, keep your hands on the floor, opening up the chest, shoulders, and your hips. See if your knee can touch the floor on the inside. Testing here in the hips, as well as the front of the chest and the shoulders. Go slowly. And let's take that into a groin stretch. Bring your feet together, hands on your feet, allow your knees to drop out to the side. Sit up tall. You can move your knees, move your legs to loosen off that area however you like. Okay, lay on your back again into happy baby. Bring your knees up, bring your hands around the outside of your feet. Lay on your back, head down, and then bend your knees. See if your knees can go out to the side of you as you pull your feet down. You can use your arms to push those knees out wide, stretching the groin, hamstrings, lower back, getting deeper in that squat position here. Okay, up you come. We've almost done. One minute left. Let's open up those hip flexors. Step one foot forwards, drive forwards, open up the hips here. And then reach that arm up and reach over. 
lengthen up through those abs, the hip flexors that were always stiff and tight as we're sitting down. And step back and switch. Other leg, open up the hips, breathe into it. Nice tall posture here. And then reach up that same arm that the leg is backwards. Reach up and reach over. Final few seconds here, enjoy it. Okay, rest there, well done. 10 minute stretch to improve your posture, complete, well done. You can do this every single day to improve your posture, enjoy a 10 minute relaxation just for you and your body and your mind. So well done. Give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe if you haven't already. I've got so many new workouts and videos coming on my channel at the moment, so I hope you're enjoying them. Comment below what your thoughts are about what you'd like to see next, what workouts, what stretches, how can I help you, okay? Make sure you download my CrocFit app, which is free to try and free to try forever. I'll never start charging you. There's lots of free content and workouts in there, so give it a go. Okay, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.